Hey, Flimsy Lunch Trey here, and welcome to our video for today, being on the recent World of Warships development blog uh, about changes to Commander Skills Update 12.10. So we're in Update 12.9 right now, and so it's very important that I probably go over this, and we'll have to see if Wargaming makes any changes about this. Um, but this greatly impacts uh, one of the things I, I guess, try to pride myself off uh, on with the uh, YouTube channel here is the upgraded commander build videos um so now that we have another commander quote unquote rework i don't know if they're actually using that word um but they've been a dime a dozen it seems like since 10.0 and we're trying to fit submarines in and all these things and hybrids and yeah so i'm gonna give you my thoughts on the dev blog article so bear with me if there's some things i'm like wait a minute does this mean positive does this mean negative um and understanding the terminology um uh, I haven't looked at this super close analytically yet. Uh, so you're getting a little bit of a first impressions per se. I've glanced through it like a week or so ago, but I was so busy back then. Um, so today we're gonna do you a proper video and going over this. So at the release of 12.10, we make uh, we plan to make changes to some of the commander skills for battleships, cruisers, and destroyers. Okay, they're targeting our surface ships. We have gathered both the statistical data and player feedback over time and we work some of the outdated, unpopular, and underperforming skills to make them more useful in battles. Okay, well, let's see what that means. Consumable specialists for battleships, cruisers, and destroyer line one. So I think if I'm just gonna like use, uh, no, let's go to, I'm gonna use the wild's fitting tool to look at this as we go through. So I'm just gonna say this was gonna be like, the battleship one so they said the uh consumable specialist which is this one right yeah so you can see all the things that it does there so it does uh, five things if you have all those but we moved the following effects okay so they took all of these away and then in exchange you've added the following effect being the cooldown time of all consumables except the damage control party and repair party negative 7.5 percent for unique commanders negative 10 percent okay because they're coming this is probably a good change because of how many consumables there are in the game um you know this list would become really extensive if wargaming started like adding more and more and more and more into this so it makes sense for them to do that so um i think it's good the bonus also doesn't affect specialized repair teams heavy repair teams and fast damage control team now this skill will affect a greater variety of consumables, which means that it will benefit the absolute majority of the ships. In order to balance this out, we decided to slightly decrease the uh, decrease the bonus itself. So going from that 10 to 7.5, which I can live with. I mean, if it means that this skill actually becomes relevant, I can give up negative uh, 2.5% um, to see this come through. Okay, that's going to be interesting uh, how videos go forward with that. Uh, preventive maintenance for battleships and destroyers, line one. So as we go through this, this is line one, line two, line three, line four. Okay, just in case you're wondering. Added the following effects. Increase the health pool of AA guns, plus five, 15%, excuse me. For unique commanders, plus 20%. Uh, increase the health pool of secondary guns, plus 15%. For unique commanders, plus 20%. Okay, that's actually good. Um... Because all it does now is it just reduces the risk of your main turrets, torpedo tubes, steering gears, and engine becoming incapacitated, and then risk of modules becoming incapacitated negative thirty percent. Um, yeah. So battleships and destroyers. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. You guys have to let me know in the comments. Are AA guns and secondary guns are their hit points uh, based off of RNG? Uh, like we found out with uh, torpedoes, uh, that the torpedoes don't have a set amount of health hit points. Uh, it's random. So if your torpedo tubes get like knocked out, incapacitated permanently, you know, right after you started the engagement, that meant that the your torpedo tubes had a RNG gave it a like couple hundred hit point pool, and that was it. Versus giving it maybe something like two or three thousand hit points. So it's subject to RNG. I don't know if AA guns and secondary guns are off the top of my head so you have to let me know in chat or comments below super heavy ap shells battleships line three added the following effect fire damage received a negative 10 percent flood damage received negative 10 percent 
Okay. Uh, so it's this dude. <laughs> so they changed it from positive to negative. Added the following effects. Fire damage received negative 10%, flooding damage received negative 10%. So it doesn't say they removed it. And it's not talking about time, it's saying damage. Okay, so I've always been really critical of this skill. Yes, it gives you amazing, um, gives you much greater damage, right? So uh, for example, uh, you know what, let's look at Yamato. I feel like it'd be funner to compare this with Yamato. And I'm blind. Yamato. Okay, so your AP shells do 14,800. Now, with super heavy AP shells, oops, uh, I actually have to click on the skills to get up to that point. You go from 14,800 per shell to 15,910 uh, per shell because it adds plus 7.5%. So um, you're getting greater alpha strikes, but I've always been very critical of this skill because of how um, your fire extinguishing time uh, is increased. So it takes longer, right? It takes longer time for the fires and floods to get put out, right? And compare with a uh, fire prevention expert. Uh, or it... Yeah, sorry, let me do this basic survivability. Um, time of repair, fire extinction, recovery from flooding, negative 15%. So it reduces the time where this increases the time, meaning it's longer to put out floods, longer to put out fires. Um, so they've not removed anything. They've just added that, oh, you'll take a slightly less um, fire and flood damage. At, I'd rather them just, rather than make it more complicated, just um, reduce the duration of the fires and floods. I feel like that would be an easier fix, so yeah. I mean, the skill needs something done with it, but I don't know if that was the right move. Improved repair party readiness, battleship line three, which is this guy here. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll talk about that. Uh, added a new effect that can be activated. Receive additional plus one charge of repair party for receiving three million potential damage once per battle. Charges of repair party plus one. Hmm. Yeah, so it does now. Repair party consume a cooldown time. Okay, so right now let's say it's 80 seconds. I put this on 79.4. I feel like there's actually more of a definition with this skill. <laughs> Maybe I just throw it up on the screen here. Uh, negative 0.8%. I think what's missing is the, it's the more damage you take or the lower your health hit points, the, this percentage stacks. So then this, your, your cooldown time becomes much drastically shorter. Um, I can't remember the specific line, but I'll just throw it in here. Uh, I'll edit, post edit it. Um, but this is something that um, with 3 million potential damage, right? So uh, your tanky ships or your ships that have great heal ability. Um, so I'm looking, definitely would look at Conqueror uh, with that. I regularly, because of that super heal, um, I regularly get games with over 3 million potential damage with Conqueror. Uh, Kremlin. Um... This is only for battleships. So yeah, they're more tanky battleships. Mm, I, yeah, Ohio. Ohio would be a possibility as well. Um, and with the uh, fast damage control, no, fast uh, or shorter repair or cooldown time on the repair party, 40 second, that would come quite in handy because you can burn through a lot of heals quickly. So, okay, that's interesting. I could see this maybe, uh, depends. I don't, I'm like trying to think if you actually get that focused. I mean, you do get focused a lot in competitive clan battles in that if you're a battleship and you're supposed to be drawing the attention then this could have some viability to it okay yeah interesting okay they're adding it so i think that's a good thing and uh, focus fire training cruisers uh line two battleships line three so let me well let's actually let's leave the skill first before i change anything 
Added the following effect. Uh, immediate damage when activating the priority sector, plus 1.5%. Change to following effects. Airstrike armament reload time reduced from negative, or gone from negative 10 to negative 15%, which means your airstrike is coming off of cooldown that much quicker, and your aircraft preparation time negative 5 to negative 10%. Okay, so let's look at that for, um, yeah, it's line 3 for battleships. Uh, let's see, aircraft preparation time, negative 5%, airstrike armament reload time, negative 10%, which I think that impacts your uh, depth charges. Let's see, 30 second? Okay, let's just uh, click on it. Or am I bland? Airstrike. Still says reload time, 30 seconds. Did I read that right? Strike armament. Are we talking more about? I mean, I know it's not reading. Air... Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go to cruisers. Uh, let's go to the Dutch. And the land, Netherlands. Let's go to Johan de Witt. Okay, so then let's just say something like that. It's line two. Reload time, 100 seconds. Okay, I don't know why it's not, it doesn't, it's not doing anything. Unless I'm just completely reading this wrong. Airstrike armament reload time. This is your airstrike armament reload time. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I can see that helping a bit. Especially on cruisers, because I'm trying to run. I'm trying to remember if I run this two-point skill on my Minotaur commander, because the buff to this priority sector, I mean, plus 1.5 percent immediate damage. It'd be interesting how that stacks. Okay, when you activate the priority A sector, enemy squadrons in its range immediately receive damage. Okay, squadrons with plural, based on the squadron's health pool. So that's where the RNG comes in. So do they have a lot of health? Or do they not have a lot of health? Is it full? Is it a little less? At the moment, without using the skill, cruisers and battleships deal damage equal to 3.5% of the enemy squadron's health pool, and the skills buffs it up to 5%. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's see how that goes. Uh, secondary arm specialist, uh, cruiser line three. So let's go for a brawler. So I was playing some of these yesterday. Oh, premium. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let's just look at, uh, what's the newer one? Yeah, Schroeder. Uh, let's see. We named Enhanced Torpedo Explosive Charge to Secondary Armament Specialist and added the following effect. Okay, then that means we want um, Eggier, then. Cruiser, ah, shoot, sorry guys. If I go too fast, I lose my place. So it should be this one. Yeah, I don't think many people were taking it. I don't, ah. I'm trying to remember if I actually ran this on the Yoda line because <laughs> just to get that additional, but they switched it out with secondaries, which I think is honestly better. So it's gonna add plus 20% range. There are cruisers that actively use their secondaries. However, there aren't that many skills that provide bonuses to them. Uh, this change will make this skill useful to a bigger pool of ships. Um, not a final name. All right, so if we went for this, so I, okay, so right now, your second days with Aegir, without building into them at all. 7.95, uh, so we'll take that. Um, we'll just go full secondary build. Um, and then we want the this one. Yeah, so 9.54. And then we get up to 10.0. And this was 20%? So yeah, so then I would be yeah, literally just over 12, 12, technically 12.06. 
And your conceal, if you build for conceal. I uh, don't know. I'm just throwing on some random skills. Um, 11.8. Okay, so they made a change not too long ago. Um, let's see, I'm going to go back. I don't know if it's still here. They changed um, your concealment for ships with secondary. And it was really confusing when I first saw it. Okay, apparently I've just skipped over it and I'm not seeing it. It wasn't that long ago, I thought. It's hard because they just changed so many. Uh, there's just so much information that comes out. Okay, apparently I'm definitely uh, missing it. But the the change is basically, if your concealment, if your secondary range was greater than your concealment, then your concealment would bloom up to the range of your secondaries when your secondaries were activated. And so I was talking with some people and like, wait, there's no ships that technically can cruisers that are. Cruisers that can fire, fire outside or ships fire outside their secondary range that's greater than their concealment, right? Uh, so we're talking about that, and then when this came out, then I know why we know why Wargaming was making that change. Because uh, you're thinking of something like, hey, gear, um, since your secondaries would technically be over 12, but your concealment is 11.8, so you could just have a ship um, stealth firing you. you. You could be getting farmed up, and you wouldn't actually know what's targeting you, right? Um, which I remember if Schroeder actually had slightly better um, secondary range. Maybe not, but I'm curious now that we're talking about it. Uh, no, I need that. Well, your concealment is better with Schroeder, that was the thing. Yeah. 10.2. Ten point oh, yeah. So then twelve point oh four, yeah. So then Schroeder would give you even bigger buff out of it because you have basically a two kilometer window, um, almost two kilometer window, because um, you got to add twenty percent to your secondaries here. Yeah. So that's why they made the change. So that's really cool. I'm very happy about this. Um, that's 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 the big winner I would say here so far of everything I've seen. Uh, I mean, I like preventive maintenance. But I think this is the big winner so far. So make brawling great again. Uh, furious. Oh boy. Furious, furious, furious. Uh, remove the following effects. Main battery load time reduced by nega 5%. Dispersion of shells fired by enemies attacking ship plus 5%. Okay, what was it now? Okay, that's so they removed both the things. Okay. Added the following effects. Improves your ship's characteristics for each act of fire or flooding on board your ship. First fire flooding, main battery load time, negative 10%. Okay. Okay, okay. Second, in each consecutive fire flooding up to six, so it's like four fires and two floods as an example. Main battery load time reduced by negative five percent. Okay, because the conversation around this skill was is it technically useful for something like Conqueror? Right? When you have this uh your massive uh repair party, um you can heal a ton of damage back, especially fires and floods with Conqueror, you can basically come back from the dead, uh, as it were. So this talks about does Furious make sense on Conqueror? And I would say originally not so much because then basically you want to be set on fire. So like you're not taking fire prevention expert and stuff. Um, main battery reload time, negative 10%. So you have faster reload, but they took away the dispersion. I mean, which is not that huge of a deal. Um, so it's focuses on the reload time. So you could get so it's negative 10% first, and then so negative 5% times five, because it's 5% after the first one. So then you could have a negative 35% reload time. 
So, add curiosity. 26. Which would be incredibly hard to farm that to begin with, let's be honest. You can farm nine, take nine seconds off. 26.4 minus nine. I think it's 9.2, something like that. So then you can get down to 17.2 second reload time. And that's without like doing something like, uh, come here, like a dual and rush. So then you could be 16, maybe 15. Um, but that would be, yeah, you would be losing so much health so quickly if you were able to max out this skill. Fires of flame can be extremely frustrating, especially when you don't have a damage control party up. This skill will partially compensate you for the inconvenience by providing the ship a significant bonus to the main battery load time. Additionally, it can be combined with the uh, updated super heavy AP shells to reduce both fire and flooding damage. Okay, well, they're, they're thinking of merging these together. I mean, Cocker has great AP. I mean, definitely you should utilize it when you can. Hmm. I feel like you'd definitely be, uh, you would be much more building into your survivability uh, as a battleship. Because you don't want to reduce the risk of catching fire. That's the point of taking Furious in the first place. Okay, well, we'll have to see. I don't know how I necessarily feel about that right now. I feel like this is going to have to see in action, really, before I can... I mean, this is still testing. This might not come final like this. Um, Dazzle, Destroyer's Line 4. So let's look at Destroyer's... Let's just look at um, Daring as an example. You see it in co uh, competitive a lot. Uh, so what are they doing with Dazzle? Add a new bonus to activate effect. Reduces accuracy of hostile fire directed at your ship. And increases her speed for 15 seconds after your ship's been detected. Ship speed plus 8%. Uh, Dazzle. Dispersion of shells fired by enemies attacking your ship. Plus 20%. And I think it already does. It activates for 15 seconds. So basically this skill kind of made a more of a comeback in the last King of the Sea, which now we have a another new king of the sea um because uh, you have destroyers backing up into the cap right and then so your goal is if you get detected while trying to take a maybe a uh, cap and there's another destroyer on the opposite side of the cap enemy destroyer and you're both fighting over it right as soon as you get detected a lot of ships start firing at you at least that's how comp is supposed to work competition competitive um so you have players taking dazzle but now if you have this plus eight percent it gives you a little bit more of a boost to get out of there. So they kind of more incentivize the skill. Um, so Dazzle makes more sense in competitive, but in randoms and um, not so much. Maybe a little more argument for ranked, but, you know. A defense and ASW expert. Battleships, line two. Cruisers, line four. Change the following effects. Battleships, continuous AA damage gets buffed. Plus 10 to plus 15. Damage from AA shell explosions, plus 10 to plus 15. Cruisers, plus 20, plus 25. Damage from shell explosions, plus 20, plus 25. Activate effect and cruiser ship's characteristics when, when her AA guns are active. Um, ship consumable preparation and reload time, negative 40%. And cruiser's gallery to negative 50%, okay. Um, cruiser, I'm going to pick on one of my favorites light cruisers in the game, Minotaur. Because my Minotaur build... I don't actually remember if I... I don't think I actually take that skill. I think I did that. Hmm. I don't know if I did something like that. Anyhow, uh, so I run the A Defense and ASW Expert. So your AA becomes so much more deadlier. And the fact that they're not buffing the anti-submarine warfare. And then the fact that you can have your reload time go from negative 20 to negative 50%. Heck yeah. I'm definitely going to be keeping this on Minotaur. I'm not going to be changing that. So I can see Minotaur... Uh, doing really well with this skill. Um, I would say um, U.S. cruisers like Wooster, um, Des Moines, uh, Salem, 
Uh, do we really roll with that? Yeah, uh, Brisbane, uh, that would be your other one, right? Because Brisbane has the best AA in the game, um, and then it's, well, I think it's actually technically, maybe, I think technically it's tied with Minotaur for first place, uh, and then Wooster is in third. Uh, so, yeah, what about Wooster? Let's talk about Wooster. I'm sorry, I'm probably saying that shit wrong, name wrong right now. Uh, da, 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 da. This, I'm just kind of showing you my build. Yeah, I think I did this. No, da, 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 da. I think I did that. I think this is maybe this is my Wooster build. I love IFHE on my Wooster, okay? Uh, Wooster. Uh, you can't change my mind on that. But. When activated, negative 50% on preparation and reload time. What would I give up? That'd mean giving up a three point and a one point skill if I really wanted to keep IFHE. So then I'd be doing something like that. So let's see. Da, 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 da. Hmm. You know, I think actually what I did I think it was that. That might be my build right now. Because I wanted to lengthen my radar time, which is why I have that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, then if you feel really comfortable with um, not having party target. This might be what my Wooster build, Wooster build turns into. Uh, with the release of update 12.10, all players will have a 100% discount on the commander skill we set for a limited time. Um, hopefully they give you the whole update, right? So if you have, like, you know, even 100 ships, right? 100, 2, 300, 4, 5, 100 ships in the game, it's going to take a long time to do. Um, if they give players two weeks, really sucks on you or gaming if you do that. So at least give a month. Give the whole update of 12.10 to do that. Um, it's not, they can't go less. Uh, well, I mean, they could go less, but I, I think it'd be really dumb on their behalf if they did that. Um, so again, as a reminder, with these dead blogs, please note that all information in this development blog is preliminary. They may make some changes to these things before up to, uh, update 12.10 hits, but they've not said anything yet. So I'm going to assume that this is going to see how we see is how it is going to be. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Um, I think the big winners here are the secondary armament specialists. Um, that's definitely up there, but you know, it might be that this skill takes the cake. This might be the, the best one out of all of this. Um, it only took Wargaming like four years to buff AA <laughs> since the commander rework. Ah, not the commander work, the uh, CV we work. Excuse me. Um, blasphemy coming over my mouth. Uh, what line is It's uh, this one. It's the two point line. That might be interesting to see on some battleships in the game, right? That might be interesting. What about. Um, I'm just trying to think what uh, battleships could I really see that? shining with right so if you do the full standard secondary reload or, sorry secondary build with montana um okay i'll just show you you can go that or you can go that um i think i've done that pa, 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 pa. Yep. Um, I go between that and artillery plotting room. It just, it really depends. So I think this is that you go kind of standard typical, but if you wanted the buff AA, or maybe you're going for a more comp build. All right, sorry, not conceal. Fire prevention, excuse me. This is what I run now on my Ohio, but if I was going more for competitive, I'm 
gives you two more skill points. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I did be some things to change here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> secondaries. That was the secondaries what I had. Huh. Da, 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 da. When you could, when you could, you'd be. Actually, the preventive maintenance, right? It's better now. Because then you get a buff to your AA and secondary guns if you're wanting to go full on secondary. If you wanted to have access to this right for the... Um, go down here. Better AA and faster reload time on your repair party, damage control party and stuff. So... Yeah, I don't know. I think those are probably the two biggest winners here. But uh, I don't know how long I've taken this video on. But let me know your thoughts in the comments on what you think about this uh, change to Commander skills. Um, maybe once this has hit the game finalized, I'll do a more general video and looking at it and going through all the Commander skills for battleships, cruisers, and destroyers. But maybe each specialized video, uh, one on battleships, one on cruisers, one on destroyers, since they've made some changes here. So let's see if this really changes and really impacts things like really drastically different. I think it will change the game up much more for cruisers. Uh, maybe a little bit for destroyers. I see battleships sweep some good rewards from this. So I think cruisers were the biggest winners out of this. Then battleships and destroyers. So if you liked today's video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.